To download and install WinRAR on your Windows computer, it's actually very simple. The first thing you need to do is go to your web browser, and you want to go to win-rar.com, and I'll leave a link in the description. Once you're here, you want to click on the download tab, just here, and then you want to scroll through this long list of download links and select your correct language on your correct platform. To make this easier, you want to click on the drop down menu where it says platform, and you want to select the correct one, so in this case we're using Windows, and then you want to click on search. Again, you just want to find your language, so in this case we are English, and you want to download the 64 bit which is at the top. You then want to download the install of your computer, so in this case we're going to use our desktop. Once we've done this, we just need to follow this 5 step process as it shows here. So now we've got the WinRAR installer onto our computer, we just need to go ahead and install it. So to do this, you want to double click on the installer, and you will need admin permissions, so you want to select yes. Once you've done this, you can go ahead and choose a destination file to install it to. In this case, we're going to use the default, and then you want to click on Install. After a second, the WinRAR will be successfully installed. Now we just need to configure it. Now you want to select what files you want to associate WinRAR with. I like to just use the default selected files. You can also choose where to add a WinRAR desktop shortcut and a start menu shortcut, but in this case, I'm going to use the default options. Once you've done this, you want to click on OK, and then you want to click on done. The WinRAR installation folder will pop up, but we can go ahead and exit out of this as there's nothing useful in that folder. So now we've got WinRAR fully installed to our computer, I'm going to quickly show you how it works. So if you want to go ahead and compress a file, in this case I'm going to use this image, you want to right click on it, hover over WinRAR, and you want to use these archiving options. So in this case I'm going to click on add to archive, which is going to give me archive settings before I actually compress the file. So in this case, I'm going to leave everything as default as it takes take me forever to go through every single option and then I'm going to click on OK. As you can see, I've successfully compressed this file. If I go ahead and open it up, you'll see the image that is inside. Now in order to extract the contents from the compressed file, all you need to do is right click on it, hover over WinRAR, then you want to use these extraction methods. So in this case, I'm going to click on extract here and that will instantly extract the file to my desktop. In this case, I've already got it extracted, which is why I got that pop-up menu. And that's it. So if you have any questions or comments, just leave them below and I'll reply to you as soon as I can.